we've all already determined that the motor was electrical, it was fine, but then mechanically it's not, okay? So the first thing, when Fritz comes in to see me, I, the first thing I would do is look to see if I have the OEM motor or if I can get my hands on it. But with the age of this one, it's kind of doubtful. So what we would have to do is then go ahead and replace it with a universal motor. So once we got that, okay, we have to then look at our fan blade. Okay, sometimes it can even have a hairline crack in it. You do not want to go ahead and put that back on the motor because um, it's going to end up throwing it out of balance and it's going to end up taking the motor out. Absolutely. Okay, so you want to go ahead, check your fan blade out, and you can very well see this one's got a very big crack yeah, in it. It's, uh, okay, it's, uh... so, uh, but even a hairline crack, if you put a new motor on it and it's going operating the way it should, it'll split it. Gotcha. So you got to be careful, okay? And then also, um, the size of this is going to come into play. So that's where we're going to actually um, measure this, okay? So what we want to do, we go to the edge of the blade, okay? And then we go to the middle of the hub, and you can see that's 10 inches. That right there tells me it's a 20-inch blade, okay. okay? But we can go ahead to test that theory, take it out, and you can see that that is a 20-inch blade. All right. Okay, so that's our first part of it. Okay. The next part of testing this out, or getting the, the correct blade, you want to check the pitch of it out. Okay. okay? So, therefore, we're going to use our little tool here, a nice little tool. And... Um, as Fritz and I were talking about this, it's, it's probably been 15 years since I've used this, so <laughs> I didn't remember anything out of it, you know, and to me it was just a nightmare, so, but it's such a simple tool to use. And um, anyway, this will determine the pitch of it, and then it can also tell you if it's clock, counterclockwise or clockwise, okay, because okay? if it comes over here to the pitch, you know it's going to be clockwise, if it goes over to this side, when we put it on here, you're going to know it's counterclockwise, okay? okay? So first thing we do, we take this end piece of it and we put that in the middle of the hub, okay? okay. You want to hold it down. Uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and do this on the part of the blade that's not cracked because that's not going to give us a true pitch, okay. Okay? okay? So let's go ahead and okay, hold it there. We've already got this touching the metal. So you want to bring this down to where both sides of this are touching the metal. Okay, you're kind of on a rivet just to here. Okay. okay, so there we go. Let me pull okay. Just here. There we go. Right there. Right there. Okay. So now we got both sides touching. Okay. Cool. Okay. You can come up, and that's actually about a 28 inch uh, pitch, isn't it? Uh, there's. It's not really on 30. It's past it just a hair, Lori. Okay. It's like 30. 32. Yeah, 32. Yeah, there we 32. go. 32. I'm looking. I need my glasses too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, we're both at that age. Yeah. <laughs> There's no help in that one. But okay. That's so perfect, anyway, Lori. yeah, that's got that's about a 32 inch pitch. Okay. Okay. So now we've determined the, the time. Pitch of the you can see on this one some of the labels still exist, but it's still kind of war. This also right now tells us it's uh, clockwise, but most of the time, the majority of the time. <laughs> You're not going to see this. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, you're just going to see a white little label. Yes. So, okay. again, okay, we would take the end of this, put it in the middle there, okay, hold it securely with your thumb. Okay, and you're touching okay, this, we, this metal. This, yeah, this is touching. That, we I want, like these raised ones, yeah. Yeah, makes it a lot nicer. Okay, so then you want to bring this to where it's touching, both of them are touching, okay? Okay, and she's just proving that point that it is clockwise. And what do we have there, Lori? I can't 20 remember. inch. We got a 20, 20 degree pitch, right? Yep. Okay, so we're good to go on that. Now let's just prove it again because I do actually have a uh, counterclockwise. And like she was just saying, what do, you, what do you got here, Lori? Yeah, so you can see that this blade, this side of it is actually touching the table. The right hand side is touching the table, okay? So that's telling me. This is a counterclockwise. Absolutely. And like she just said, 99% of the time you come on them, you ain't going to have no sticker. Nope. Label's gone. Okay. You want to throw that gauge on it one more time yep. and see what we'll this do, one is? See what this one is. Okay. So again, we'll go in the middle of the hub. Okay. Secure it with my thumb. Then we want to make sure both sides of this little tool are touching. Okay. So on this one, we see that it is probably about a 28 inch pitch. Okay. It's not quite on the 30. Okay. It's 28. And 
also again this is telling me that it's counterclockwise okay so you just proved your point with yes. this blade facing down like this to the right you have to have that blade facing you it's counterclockwise absolutely laura you did an incredible job today it was such fun having you back out again I can't wait to do it again. So you're welcome anytime you want to come out. I'm hoping you're going to want to shoot some more. Oh, definitely. Thank you. Okay, y'all. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.